Hello my beautiful friends, it is the day and a half after surgery now and I wanted to give you guys a quick update and kind of take you through the day before and the day of surgery. First off, I think most of you guys know this, but the reason I was having surgery is because I have not been able to use my prosthetic leg since late December, early January. I had a really bad fall in a smash burger of all places. They had super greasy floors and no signs up and landed really, really hard on my residual limb. That led to issue after issue and I had a really big burst that developed on one side of my leg and then I actually had another one develop on the other side of my leg. So before I say anything more, let me just take you guys through the day before surgery and the day of surgery. So I just realized I should probably give you guys like the before shot. It's a little bit gross, but I mean, just fair warning. All right, so this is why I'm having surgery. If you look closely, it almost looks like I have matching horns on both sides of my leg. Those are definitely not supposed to be there. This is a, a bursa. It's really painful to press like from that side of things especially and you can see that there's like another one over here. Now this is probably like an osteocyte that's had something form over it. I'm not entirely sure. So they're gonna go in there tomorrow, cut open about two inches on one side, cut open about two inches on the other side, also remove the screw that is through the middle of my amputation. I'll put an uh, x-ray up on screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Hopefully all those things will get done and go smoothly. Completely unnecessary surgery prep uh, step completed. I just curled my hair because it makes me feel pretty and I'm not gonna feel pretty for quite a few days So I might as well go into surgery with my hair curled feeling nice. I think we're ready to go to Denver guys. safely in Denver in our lovely hotel room, which I'm super grateful for, and I'm tired and ready to rest. We stopped at a car show, which was super awesome, spent a couple hours there. He was super happy like a kid in a candy store, which made me happy to see and helped me kind of relax before all of this. I feel ready for this. I feel ready to get it done. I have a lot of fears and a lot of doubts, but more than anything, the predominant emotion is let's do this, you know, it's time. And so I'm ready to rest up. Surgery day. So, Troy, how do you feel about Smashburger in these moments? They caused this whole problem. I did. You see your bumps? See the bumps? Got that guy. Oh my God. Got that guy. Jesus Christ. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's Smash Burger, not Smash and Jordan. Yeah, come on, guys. Got my sack on. Want some warm ones? I'll get you warm ones. I just got out of surgery. Apparently there were two bursas, as I expected, and they removed the screw, and uh, I think everything basically went well. So uh, I'm gonna... Surgery! Words are hard when you're coming out of anesthesia. Uh, basically everything went well. I need some more crackers and go home. How are you feeling? Yeah, you're all done. Snacky snack time. safely home, I'm elevating my leg and icing it, kind of 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Uh, I've been sleeping a lot. Good morning, friends. It is a day after surgery, morning after surgery, and I just got done reading through so many of your comments. I'm truly blown away by your thoughts and care and concern and just everything you guys have said. It, I can't tell you how much it brightens my day and touches my heart, even when I'm groggy and barely with it like I am right now. It really makes an impact on me, but I wanted to give you kind of just a quick update before I go back to sleeping because I'm pretty out of it.
made it through the night okay. Uh, slept for like two hours at a time and then I'd be up and then down again. Um, when we were getting discharge instructions from the hospital yesterday, the nurse said, you know, in regards to coming out of anesthesia, she gave like this long list of symptoms and then summed it up by saying, basically you're just gonna feel like crap for the next 24 hours and that's so accurate. Um, I don't know if anesthesia does this to you guys, but it's more like 48 hours for me. I just feel like I've been hit by like a bus and I'm exhausted and groggy and nauseous and just like feel like poop. So I still feel like poop and I'm just gonna try to keep my eyes closed and rest and get rid of this headache. Um, pain has still been pretty okay. Like it hurts, but it's not bad. Keeping it elevated. We got that. It's under a blanket there. And I'm gonna just go back to, to resting. I'm honestly not sure how many of these sentences have made sense because I'm pretty out of it. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and, uh, and just take care of what I need to take care of, which is going back to sleep. That brings us up to current date, which is now uh, late afternoon on Friday. So surgery went really well, but something that was kind of funny, I thought, is my doctor talked to Brian and my mom. He called me a trailblazer because he said he had not seen these kind of issues develop the way that they did before. Like he'd never seen it before. My body just does weird things, um, but hopefully this will be the end of it. He doesn't expect them to reoccur. They happened because of the fall and the screw is out of there. Um, generally speaking, more than, I think it's 60% of screws in urtal amputations, which is the kind of amputation I have, those screws end up kind of unscrewing themselves. And so you end up having to have surgery, end up having to have surgery down the road again. My screw was solid still, but I didn't want to risk that. And so I asked him to take it out if, if everything looked healed enough. And thankfully it was. And so we removed the possibility of having to have issues with that screw down the road. He took that screw out, fixed up everything in there, and now this just needs to heal. The swelling needs to go down and all that. So basically, stitches are in for two weeks. I'm taking it super easy for two weeks. And then after that, it's really just letting the incisions heal and pain go away. And then I'll get recasted for a prosthetic if everything goes according to plan. So that is the latest and greatest. By the way, if you're seeing that my leg looks really funny colored, I promised you it's not infected. They uh, basically scrub your leg down and stuff for surgery and it makes it change funny colors until you can like fully wash it, which I can't do because there's, you know, bandages and stuff on it right now. So not to worry, everything is normal. And with that, I'm going to turn the camera off and get back to resting. Very busy, just packed schedule today with resting and recovering and getting all the anesthesia drugs out of my system. I've been chugging water like nobody's business trying to kind of flush everything out of here, so hopefully I will feel like myself sometime in the near future. I love you guys, I'm thinking of you. Thank you again for everything, and I will keep you guys updated. I'll talk to you soon, bye. It is amazing how much energy it takes to like put words into words, into words when you're this tired. I think it's clear from that sentence that I should just stop talking. Have her from the sky, all about.